Okay, hi everybody. In this question here, we're starting with x squared minus 4, and we're going to state the domain and range um, changes here and, and give the location of any invariant points here. So you, you guys basically have to have a, a kind of a clear view of this thing, x squared minus 4, okay? Um, now, what's going to happen here uh, is we're going to take this thing and stretch it in this first question by a factor of a, vertical stretch by a factor of a. Now a is greater than one, so there's been no reflection, so it's just getting larger here. Now, for the original function, the domain was all reals. A vertical stretch won't change that, so it's going to stay all reals, okay? The range, okay, the range should technically be, if it's gonna be affected by a vertical or horizontal stretch, it will be affected by a vertical one, the range of the original one is going to be greater than or equal to negative 4. But if I stretch that by a factor of a, okay, that's going to be y is greater than or equal to negative 4a. Okay? Now, my invariant points are going to be any, sorry, over here, any points that showed up on the x-axis. Now, in this particular case here, uh, that's going to be the points. If you, if you solve, uh, set that equal to zero and solve, you're going to get here uh, two comma zero and negative two comma zero. Those were the points on the x-axis of the original. That's not going to change under that vertical stretch.